So, uh, this morning, this morning, I was getting ready to go to physical therapy. I uh, had back surgery a few months ago, so I've been doing physical therapy. And I saw that uh, there were packages, there were packages or um, suspicious devices sent to the homes of uh, former President Barack Obama um, and former President Bill Clinton and uh, uh, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. So that was the news. And this comes off the heels of uh, uh, a, basically a bomb being sent to George Soros's house, uh, the billionaire Democratic funder who has funded uh, the Democratic Party, has funded a lot of other things that are kind of shady. <laughs> um, so you had Soros, I believe, two days ago. You had Obama, uh, Obama's house today, this morning, uh, the Clintons this morning. And then I saw, uh, I, was, I had CNN on because I like to torture myself, and I saw that and a, a fire alarm went off, I believe in the 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern time. And I immediately thought it was kind of odd because there's a fire alarm going off while there's bombs being sent to the former presidents of the United States, uh, Barack Obama, as well as Hillary Clinton. Uh, I mean, excuse me, Barack Obama, uh, as well as Hillary Clinton uh, and President Clinton. So I thought that was very, very odd. I thought that was very, very odd. Uh, and you don't normally see, hold on, you don't normally see um, fire, alarm goes, fire alarms go off on live cable news. Uh, if there's a fire alarm in the building, usually you don't see it on live cable TV. So, in fact, my younger brother just started working in the Time Warner building where CNN is. He's not working for CNN. He's not working for CNN, so let's not attack my good brother, Jared Sheridan. Love you, brother. Uh, but he just started this week working uh, in the Time Warner building. So I texted him and I said, hey, I hear there's an evac, you know, a fire alarm or whatever. And he tells me, this is before CNN reported it, that there's some type of bomb in the building. So I'm saying to my younger brother, Jared, get the hell out of there. What are you doing? Run. Because, uh, you know, I'm thinking a bomb could go off in CNN. And of course I care about my brother. And, you know, I don't like CNN. I think it is propaganda. But I also don't want anyone at CNN to get hurt. Okay? I don't like, I'm not a big fan of President Obama. But... I don't want President Obama or his wife, Michelle Obama, to be blown up. I'm sorry. I don't. Uh, I am not a fan of Hillary Clinton or Bill Clinton, but I don't want um, anything bad to happen to these people. And, you know, I've seen some vile tweets today from, our, from, from some progressive people, too, saying, oh, good, they wish they ex exploded. Uh, I think what's great about the progressive explosion in America, the exploding progressive movement, is we have had a peaceful, a peaceful progressive movement. I'm communicating with my brother because, you know, there's a bomb threat or a bomb uh, in the Time Warner building where CNN is. And I'm thinking to myself, well, this doesn't seem like, you know, some sh moron. This seems like a coordinated attack. You have a uh, what was apparently a pipe bomb sent to George Soros's home. You have what were devices that could explode sent to Obama, the Clintons. Uh, you had it a uh, pipe bomb sent to CNN. There was also a suspicious device. I don't know if it's confirmed yet whether it was an, an explosive device, but sent to Debbie Wasserman Schultz uh, office in uh, South Florida. That had to be evacuated. There was apparently suspicious devices sent to Maxine Waters' um, office. There was apparently a device sent, uh, I, I don't know if it was to former Attorney General uh, Eric Holder's office. And interestingly enough, the pipe bomb that was sent to CNN, it made it into the building, into the mailroom, said, uh, attention CNN, care of John Brennan, former CIA director. So it's, it's very interesting. So I've seen, uh, you know, I've seen all the people uh, saying, well, first of all, let, let's just say, to our knowledge, um, nobody has been hurt. 
uh, and none of these devices exploded. So that's good. I, I think we all need to agree, and I don't want any viewers or any supporters that wish violence on other people. I don't like Hillary Clinton. I don't, I, I think she recklessly voted for the Iraq war and she has helped cause the death of millions around the world. Uh, I don't like Bill Clinton. His policies ha were very, very damaging to people that I care about. Uh, I don't like Debbie Wasserman Schultz, but it's a step too far. It is a step too far when you start being happy for or wishing violence on political opponents. We are not, we are not right-wing, far-right lunatics, and we should not wish that upon anybody. So if you are excited about that, this is the wrong channel for you. Just keep it real. I don't want that, and I hope you don't want that. Um, we're going to beat them with our ideas and our activism and our momentum, not with violence. But I have seen, you know, there's quite a lot uh, of people out there saying, um, you know, false flag. They think this is some, you know, conspiracy by the Democratic Party to, you know, gin up um, anti-Trump, anti-far white, um, you know, fervor ahead of the midterm elections. Uh I'm not in the I'm not in the business of speculating. There's no evidence of that. Um, it's possible, but I don't I don't have any evidence to support that. So I'm not going to speculate on that. And I find it interesting that they uh, put care of John Brennan on the package that went to CNN. First of all, John Brennan is a commentator for MSNBC, not CNN. So they got the wrong building. But you have John Brennan. They sent a package to who oversaw the drone wars. You have President Obama, who they sent the package to, who okayed and approved all, those, all that droning. You have Hillary Clinton, who obviously was a part of that as Secretary of State. But, you know, I also want to address Trump's response. Um, you know, what did Trump say? Let, let's, let's play this here. I'd like to begin today's remarks by providing an update on the suspicious packages and devices mailed to current and former high-ranking government officials. The safety of the American people is my highest and absolute priority. I have just concluded a briefing with the FBI, Department of Justice, Department of Homeland Security, and the U.S. Secret Service. As we speak, the packages are being inspected by top explosive experts and a major federal investigation is now underway. The full weight of our government is being deployed to conduct this investigation and bring those responsible for these despicable acts to justice. We will spare no resources or expense in this effort. And I just want to tell you that in these times, we have to unify. We have to come together and send one very clear, strong, unmistakable message that acts or threats of political violence of any kind have no place in the United States of America. Eloquent. How eloquent and inspiring by President punched them in the face, right? Uh, before I get into Trump's hypocrisy and totally ridiculous comment there, uh, just a correction, because I'm getting an update uh, that uh, although at first there were reports that something was sent to the White House, uh, the FBI says, after all, there was no device sent to the White House. So my apologies for that. My bad. I'm blaming it on the root canal. Uh, there was nothing sent to the White House, which does kind of change my opinion here. Does kind of change my opinion a little bit, because really what you have then is packages all sent to Democrats. All, all sent to Democrats. There was no package sent to the White House. So, hmm, you have, one, you have two options. A right-wing extremist uh, ginned up by Trump uh, and Trump bashing CNN or a fa false flag from the Democrats. Again, I'm not going to speculate because we don't have any information and I think it's irresponsible as a journalist to speculate. I don't know if it's a fa false flag. I highly doubt it. Um, I think that's conspiratorial with no evidence. I'm all for conspiracies if there's evidence to lead to it. But the evidence I have is there were uh, bombs and suspicious packages sent to some of the most hated Democrats in the country that Trump has gone after time and time again. Maxine Waters, he calls an idiot. 
uh, or illiterate on, on the campaign trail. Uh, Barack Obama, he's gone after time and time again. Crooked Hillary, he's gone on, gone after time and time again. Uh, he's gone after uh, former Attorney General Eric Holder. He has gone after Debbie Wasserman Schultz. And of course, he has gone after CNN repeatedly. So it makes sense to me that this was probably sent out by somebody inspired by President Trump. And the fact that there wasn't anything sent to the White House, there was some reports earlier that there was, apparently that has been confirmed was not the case. So my apologies for that. Um, who knows? Who knows? But I don't see any evidence yet uh, that it was a false flag. I think it's more likely than that to be uh, an all, a right-wing lunatic. Uh, but, you know, if it's a right-wing lunatic, Trump will, like, me believe, eh, kind of condemn it. If it's a brown person, holy shit, we're going to war, folks. We're going to war. If it's a brown person, if it's a, black, if it's a brown person, we're going to war. If it's a black person, he's sending the National Guard through the streets. If it's a white Republican with, you know, pictures of Bill O'Reilly in his living room, eh, we discourage this kind of behavior you'll get from Trump. Listen, the bottom line is this. Whoever, whoever sent these bombs, and my gut, my gut, is it was a Trump supporter. I don't have any evidence, so it's just speculation. My gut is it was a Trump supporter. Let's not fool ourselves. Uh, what, what, the, what the president said, you know, we condemn all acts of political violence is complete and utter bullshit. This is a man during the campaign who said to his supporters, punch him in the face, I'll pay your legal fees. This is a man who just last week, who just last week basically complimented a congressman who punched a reporter in the face and assaulted him. Right? This is a man who basically supported a Supreme Court nominee who was accused by multiple women of sexual assault and misconduct. So this is a man who has stoked fears. This is a man who has urged his supporters to get up in the faces of journalists. And I think journalists, all journalists, whether corporate, whether independent, should have to deal with criticism. But criticism is different than physical confrontation. He has urged his supporters to confront the fake media and call them the en enemy of the people. Now, I'm not big on Hitler comparisons because I don't think Trump is comparable to Adolf Hitler. But if you study fascism, if you study the, ver uh, the auditory and the articulation of fascists, what Trump has been communicating to his supporters all over this country is, is remnants of fascism. It is. Now, he's not sending anybody on trains to their deaths, so I'm not saying he is Adolf Hitler, but his, his words are stoking violence. You want to know why? Because I covered about 40 to 50 Trump events and rallies on the campaign trail, and he was stoking and urging, urging his audience to confront journalists and to confront political opponents. And I recall very vividly while I was at the Young Turks, I was covering his rally in Burlington, Vermont, right? Bernie's backyard. And Trump supporters that I was interviewing and challenging journalistically on their ridiculous logic got in my face and pushed me. That happened twice on the campaign trail. I didn't get assaulted. It was an assault, but I've been pushed by Trump supporters and I've had plenty get in my face. So I don't want to hear from Trump about, you know, lowering the temperature and we need to be united while he stands up there and talks about imaginary delusional caravans coming to kill you from, from the Mexican border. Well, as he stands up there and, and fear mongers on Middle Easterners in the caravan, and as he stands up there calling the media the end of the enemy of the people, I think the corporate media is the enemy of the facts. I think the corporate media is the enemy of truth. I think the corporate media is the enemy of working people, but I do not think the corporate media is the enemy of the people. I do not think, uh, I do not think that journalists uh, or, or, or anyone at CNN, at MSNBC, at the New York Times, at the Washington Post, or any of these places deserve violence on them. Being bad at your job, being a hypocrite, being a fake journalist is not uh, a death sentence.